this shit was all I knew You and me only I did it all for you Still you were lonely We could've worked it out We could have worked it out. 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 It's a celebration, let's toast to the fact that I moved out my mama basement to a condo downtown, cause it's all about location, I sit and drink wine and watch Californication of life, you should have been. Pretty little thing, you gotta beg it, now you wildin', you just took it off the line, no mileage. Hey girlfriend, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a, another wedding vlog, but this time we're going to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for my other teammates wedding um we leave tomorrow at 7 a.m and so i'm starting the vlog today on thursday um october 5th 6th october 5th or 6th i don't remember um and it's about 9 30 in the morning um i'm off today and tomorrow and monday so we're starting the vlog Today, um, I, right now, I've made my coffee, and I should have gotten up an hour earlier because I really need to wash my hair and blow it out. And so, <clears throat> we've got, today's the day that we're just, like, preparing, oh my god, ice maker. Today is, like, a, uh, um, prep day. Um, so I need to go get breakfast. I need to go to the bank. I need to go to the tailor and pick up my dress for the actual wedding. Um, I need to go to the car wash and I need to go get my nails done. And then some of my friends are in town. So I'm going to go see them tonight. I'm going to my best friend's house. Um, and then, um, my best friend lives in Austin. She's in town. She's going to be sister's house which is my other best friend so I'm gonna go over there tonight for a little bit um before I need to oh and then I have to pack my flight leaves tomorrow at 7 a.m it boards at 6 45 which means I need to be at the airport at five something Shkiv. so I'm trying to figure out because I have to straighten my hair today too so I'm trying to figure out if I should, I think I should go ahead and wash it, blow it out, and then just put it in a low bun with a hat on. I should have washed it last night. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, don't know what I was thinking. My cousins are in town. My cousin and his girlfriend are in town celebrating his birthday. So last night I went to happy hour with them and one of her friends. And I came home and just wanted to go get in the bed so i'm about to hop in the shower right quick getting breakfast i'm just going to go get another bagel from benny's i think is the name and that won't take that long because it's a thursday so i highly doubt there's going to be a line and then my plan is to like be out the rest of the day like I, when the moment i come home i'm in until i go to my best friend's house okay so i will see you guys after i wash my hair change my clothes and i'm on my way to the bagel place okay i've got everything ready to go i blew my hair out and just put it in a bun i have on just this adidas baseball cap this is my dad's um shirt from like the 80s or 90s when he used to work for bridgestone and some little leggings and pretty much flip flops i have um water in this super cute water bottle that one of my really close friends from college made me um she has a um business that makes uh like different cups and water bottles and stuff like that so i'll put the link for her store down in the description it's i think it's goodies by lex goodies by lexus but yeah i'll put it in the description um 
and these are super cute she made one for me and my mom mine has brown they're like faces and roses and flowers mine has brown outline and my mom's is hunter green so first stop Get a kick it with me. We could have split this whole thing up 50 50. Hey, girlfriend. So I'm home. I got all my errands done. Nails are done. French tip has a strong hold on me. So that's what we got. Um, and toes are white. Um, picked up dress number two. Fits great. Went to Target. Had a problem with the bank, but hopefully it gets resolved in the next two days. But um or tomorrow and then got the car washed vacuumed the inside got my bagel and i'm home and so as you can see i look a mess about to get me something to eat and then i'm going to do a little bit of laundry and then i'm going to start on my hair while the laundry is going um not really sure if i'm gonna go ahead and slick it I'll probably go ahead and stick it all the way back tonight as much as I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to sleep with it that way. And I need to pack. So, all right. Yeah, I've got to film. I got to I gotta do some TikToks in the midst of all of this. TikToks, drafts, all that. I'm vlogging. It's a lot. It's a, it's, it is a whole situation. So, give me some time. I will catch back up with you guys once... My hair is done. Hey girlfriend, so I have been a horrible vlogger today. So I've been a horrible vlogger today. I literally just got back from my best friend's house. My hair is done. Got the pony by Simply Looks by Jay. I have my discount code. I'll put it on the screen. As always, it's in the description box, but I did my hair and we are nice and ready to go. I just have to make sure my bag is packed. I just have to make sure I get up on time. <laughs> so I'm allowed to get out of these clothes and I'm probably gonna eat some ice cream for dinner. That's all I can think of because I didn't really want McDonald's. So I'm probably about to make some ice cream for dinner and then um, I will see you guys first thing in the morning. My flight leaves at 7 a.m. It boards at 6.45. So I'm gonna leave here at 5.15, um, which means I need to get up at like 4.00. 4.30, no, like 4.45, 4, 4.45, 4 5 o'clock, yeah, I can get out of bed, yeah, yeah, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's about 5.15 and I'm about to head to the airport, it is Friday, I don't know what the date is, but um, Riley and Kay for coming for you, um, yeah, I'm about to head to the airport. I'm all dressed and ready to go. My flight takes off um, at 7.15. I check in at 6.45. So, see you guys when I get to the airport. But now I'm at the 40-40 getting bitches tipsy. Killing shit. They're ever so talented, Mr. Ripley. How I go from being a man that you argue with to me and Dwayne Carter putting out the heart. Hi, vlog. So, it's been a morning. You want to know why it's been a morning? Because we got up. Everything was cool. We said, let's go find Starbucks. Let's go find something to eat. I think we went to New York. And then so far we drove. Baltimore. I saw an exit for Washington, D.C. We just drove into oblivion. And that was north. Then we decided to turn it around and come back south past our hotel going back towards the apart apartment, the airport, because I remember seeing a standalone Starbucks. I thought it was two exits down from the hotel. Nope, it was a whole 45 minutes away. And that is currently where we are and we are getting $40 worth of Starbucks food because we are not doing this again. I'm going to have probably an hour to get ready. Did we see what I look like? I slept hard, okay? And I would show, it's beautiful up here. I would show you the terrain, but like, I'm in such a mood. So let's hope we can get back quick because our phones are both about to die. Let's hope that we can get back quick and I can get dressed and changed and all of that stuff and go meet my friends and go to the wedding and have a great rest of the night. I will check back in with you guys when I get, <laughs> when I get to the hotel and I just honked at somebody on accident. Sorry. What a shit. I should want to go back to the one I started with, but I'm addicted to this life. It's going to be hard to quit. Yeah. Just ask me how things
to coming along. You can tell me that you never heard none of my songs. Long as you end up saying one day you plan to listen. Cause what's a star when it's most this important shit was fan is missing? All I knew. Brings pain when you're no longer involved. That person has it all, and you just stuck standing there. But I'm gonna need you to see. Hey girlfriend, so today is Monday, October 11th, and it is about noon. I'm sorry, yesterday I didn't really vlog at all. It was a long ass travel day. We got up at 7, had to drive two hours to the Pittsburgh airport from Bedford, and then um, my mom and I were flying to separate places. She was flying to New York, I was flying to Atlanta. Um, end up having to check one of my bags which you guys know i hate checking bags it's not in my mo so um ended up having to check my bag before i even got through security which was annoying so i had to check my bag and then um checked my bag and then got through security which secured in the pittsburgh airport pittsburgh airport very chill very calm bigger than the louisville airport but just as calm so got through security flying colors there's only one security got through uh very quickly turned the rental car in and then i got my mom went to her uh gate we were in separate gates too like separate terminals my mom went to her terminal on her gate i went and got food and then went and sat with her until her plane boarded then went over to mine boarded my plane so um boarded that flight got to Atlanta which I hate flying Delta like I only had to fly Delta because there were no American flights coming back from Pittsburgh yesterday and I had to be back yesterday so I hate flying Delta it's not my favorite unless I'm flying first class unless somebody else buys a ticket because I hate flying Delta it's just always hot like why is the plane always hot they always come on the intercom with some bogus excuse about how they don't have like the system that blows the air before the plane takes off which is bogus but it's always hot the planes are always crowded even with american like it's not as crowded i don't feel like i don't know but yeah it's just i just don't like flying it so then it gets even my disdain gets even worse so i landed in terminal e in elena my connecting flight was terminal a was in terminal a and the time I landed was the time my next flight was boarding. Reasons why I, one, don't like flying Delta, and two, don't like um, non nonstop flights because unless the layover is more than an hour, you're gonna, you run the risk of missing your next flight. People think, oh, an hour layover is too long, but nine times out of 10, if your flight is, if your layover is that long, it's because your gates are that far apart. Like, so yeah, I had to take the tram and it was like 10 of us that had to get to the next flight to get to Dallas. So got on that flight. That flight was also hot. I was one of the last people to board. We stayed on the runway for about 30 minutes before we took off. We were all sweltering. So, um, also another thing, another one, you have to ask for headphones. And I kept forgetting to ask because I have AirPods. So like I you have to ask for headphones for the screens in front of you. But it's like if you're going to hand out the little Purell like cleansing towelettes, the cleansing towelettes when people board, also give them like the disposable headphones. It's just annoying. So got on the fight and I just watched, um, what's it called? It's that new like basketball, not basketball. It's that new sports uh sports documentary on netflix about like scams or like crimes that people do in sports i only watched the first episode about arizona state um those basketball players and the gambling which was a really good episode but i thought it was only 
like I thought it was for some reason I thought it was a series but then I thought it was just a movie and I only downloaded one episode I didn't download the entire series so I only watched that and then um played some games listened to some music landed right land go to get my um go to get my bag they put my checked bag on the flight that landed after mine which what so I landed at like I landed at six yeah I landed oh no I landed at 5 30 Dallas time so they put my bag on I go to get my bag from baggage claim I find my bag never shows up find out that they put my bag on the flight that comes into Dallas after mine which doesn't land till eight I didn't find out that my bag wasn't on like I didn't find out where my bag was until six six fifteen. So then I'm like, okay, I'll come back. Well, I knew I wanted Qdoba for dinner. So I was like, okay, I'll get my car. I valid my car at the airport. I'll go get my car and then I'll go to Qdoba. I'm like, surely there's a Qdoba in Irving. There's not one close enough for me to go to. So I go to the Qdoba that I always go to that's closer um to where I live and go to that Qdoba or no. So I get my car. It took me 30 minutes for the, it took 30 minutes for the ride share, like terminal link bus to come. So finally get on the terminal link. It's crowded, of course. Get to my terminal that I parked my car in. Get, took another 10 minutes for my car to come. Get my car. As I get my car, the wind's blowing really bad, but I'm like, oh, maybe it's just, it's going to rain like tonight. Like a normal, like rain or whatever. I get my car, the wind's blowing so hard when I'm driving, though it looked, it was pitch black outside, like not regular nighttime black. It was pitch black outside, wind's blowing crazy. And so I go to get Qdoba. I go to get Qdoba and then I also wanted a snack. So I had to stop over at Whole Foods to get a snack um, while I waited, because Qdoba was my dinner. I wasn't gonna eat that until I got home um, around like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And so, but Qdoba closes at nine. So I was like, let me go ahead and get it while I'm waiting and then I'll get my snack, eat my snack while I'm on my way back, get my bag and then leave. So did all of that and it was just, the weather was psychotic. Like I was getting blown all around the interstate. So then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna take the street way home because it was starting to lightning or lightning. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to take the interstate. I'm going to take the street way home. It's going to take me a little bit longer, but at least I won't be blowing all around the interstate. No, by the time I got my bag, I was so irritated. I was just ready to get home as fast as I could. And so um, luckily, I went, I got out of the airport going north instead of going south. And so um, leaving the north way is less construction. And so I got home quicker. And by the time I got home, took a shower, got in the bed um, to eat my Qdoba, I was asleep within 30 minutes after eating my, like, from the time I got in the bed to the time I fell asleep, it was 30 minutes. I ate all my Qdoba and fell asleep. But I got home and found out that there was a tornado warning. And that's why the weather was like that. So, yeah, it's a tornado warning. And I drove through it. And it, the rain was psychotic by the time I was at home. So yeah, so now I'm home. Riley and Kate's wedding was so nice. I will um, have uploaded so much footage from it. I didn't videotape a lot because I, just, I hadn't seen my friends in a long time. And so I just wanted to see them and enjoy that. Um, but I do have pictures and some boomerangs and stuff that I'll upload. Um, so you can guys, you guys can see them. So yeah, today I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm probably gonna go get some lunch here in about an hour. I'm trying to let the crowd died down i think it's fall break though but i'm trying to let the crowd die down by smu and i'm gonna go get some lunch over there i think i want a lobster roll i'm gonna order it there because the last time i ordered it online i ordered it to the wrong freaking location i'm just gonna chill the rest of the day on the couch like doing nothing um later tonight i'm supposed to be editing my vlog that i was supposed to edit over the week mm, nope it's not happening y'all are get it sometime later this week mama needs a break um and then later sometime tonight, I'm gonna make sure I'm like prepared for everything I need to do for work this week because I go to DC on Sunday. Yeah, I go to DC for a work trip on Sunday. So yeah, I'm gonna vlog that too. So yeah, 
a lot of vlogs a lot a lot a lot of vlogs and that's like not what my channel was supposed to be it was all vlogs but a lot a lot of vlogs <laughs> okay so this is the end of this wedding weekend vlog um and i will see you guys on my next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell your friend tell your friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends always as always don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter and on tiktok okay did it cool catch you guys on my next one peace